Hey guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot. I am back with a You versus Them video series, this time for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. And this is gonna be a three card spread. First card represents you, Gemini. Second card represents your love interest. Um, and your third, the third card represents the relationship, the potential for the relationship or where the relationship is headed. This is a general reading. Um, the energies are interchangeable. So if I say that this is how your partner feel, that may be how you feel, okay? Um, so take that into consideration. Take what resonates with you. Um, also, I am accepting new clients on Instant Go. Um, I currently have a $5 off coupon. Coupon code is MAGIC in all lowercase letters. So you can um, ask me a question for only $2.99. All the information to contact me is in the description box. All right, let's get the reading started. The first card out is the Magician. All right, now, um, Gemini, you guys are manifesting something right now. Um, this talks about confidence. Okay, wow, a lot of cards came out. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the uh, Nine of Pentacles and the nine of wands. Okay, so there's a completion here. There is, a, and there was some type of breakup um, because we have a 10 and a nine and a nine. So there was a breakup here and we have one. So there's a, there was a breakup here. So it looks like you um, here with the magician is manifesting some type of new relationship here. And your love interest is feeling some type of sadness due to uh, a breakup. Um, and they want some type of new beginning with you because we have all uh, these two nines here talking about there's going to be some type of ending of a cycle. I usually look at the nines as endings and I look at the tens as um, an ending starting a new a beginning because one a ten reduces down to a one. So your partner here is feeling like... Um, either they want to break up with you or there has been a breakup here. This talks about burdens here. This talks about someone feeling burdened. And this is talking about fear, suspicion. Someone is suspicious or someone has some type of fear. Maybe a fear of um, breaking up. Okay. Someone wants to break up. Someone wants to manifest something else. So let's see what's going on here. All right, um, Gemini here, you are reaching or you need to make a decision or you're about to make a decision about what you want to do um, as far as this relationship. Your partner here is wanting to offer something or they're waiting on you to give them an offer here. Um, an eight of swords, somebody's trapped um, or someone feels trapped. Um, and this could just be the, the someone being indecisive right now. Someone feels trapped uh, by their thoughts, possibly. Um, they can't make a decision. Um, here, there's, okay, so we have a Knight of Pentacles. Um, we have that, okay, your partner wants to offer, and I feel like you want to come towards this partner with some type of an offer. But your offer is uh, a bit slow. It, it could mean that you're not ready to give this offer here. Here we have the, the Page of Pentacles. So we have the knight and then the page of pentacles in the love interest column. So the the, the love interest, um, you gave the, the love interest a, an offer. So I kind of see what it, where we're going here. The magician is talking about you wanting to manifest this relationship here um, with your partner. But your partner is thinking about breaking out. Their partner is not sure what they want to do because there's a lot of burdens. They feel like they don't want to work on this anymore here with the nine of pentacles and the um, nine of wands um they, they there's some type of fear or some insecurity here with this relationship and they feel like it's too much work or they're waiting or they feel like they've been waiting too long um you reach a decision um and i feel like your partner was waiting on an offer and now you're coming towards your partner with the off you came towards your partner with an offer and your partner is now reflecting on this offer and they're trying to decide what they want to do if they want to stay in this relationship or not and this is causing someone to feel trapped um, maybe somebody this is the, the what i was talking about the indecisiveness maybe they they don't know what to do so they feel trapped by the decision that they have to make 
Um, and it's a hard decision because we have the, the Nine of Wands here. Um, and then we have the King of Wands. Um, the King of Wands is here because, I mean, this is someone that is reliable. Someone that you can rely on and this is, this is someone stable. So someone wants to, someone is being reliable or someone is letting you know that they can be reliable, they can be stable, or this could be somebody in a relationship is wanting stability. Maybe they don't feel like they're, they, maybe that's why they're insecure. Maybe they feel like this relationship is not stable enough. But with the magician, I feel like you're manifesting something or you've made changes now. And now you're coming towards with, the, uh, with a solid, stable offer now. Your partner is reflecting on this offer. And now they're making a decision or they need to make a decision here with the wands as an action. They're taking action. And I feel like they're they're, they're looking at this offer. Um, and they it looks like they're going to uh, decide to... They may not take the offer here because you're looking at these pentacles here. Like you, you're putting work, you're putting effort, you're trying to put effort here. You're, you're, you feel like you're making an effort. And your partner's wanting something stable. So you came with a stable offer. And you're making an effort here. So let's see. Let's see what shows up, Gemini. Um, so it looks like your partner's the one that feels trapped. Yeah, your partner has a, a page, uh, two pages, wow, a night, two pages, a page of cups. So you're offering a pentacle and they're off. so you're a knight, you came towards them with some type of stability. Now they're over here with the cup and they're feeling like, um, for me, I feel like they're still looking at this offer. They're still looking at it with these pages here. He's looking at this pentacle. He's reflecting like, mm, should I take it? He's looking at this cup like, mm, should I trust this? So your partner is confused. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with the partner. What's going on with the partner or the love interest? What's going on with the love interest? There's two. Ooh, okay. Um... So I have the King of Pentacles. And then I have the Justice and the Two of Wands in reverse. Somebody feels like someone's not being fair. The King of Pentacles is someone just trying to focus on themselves. Someone really just focusing on their finances. But this is talking about someone that's very... Uh, so this is courageous here. King of Wands is someone that's courageous, has a lot of confidence. And I feel like that's you, Gemini, coming towards this person, building the confidence, trying to offer some stability. And the King of Pentacles, him, he's here still, he's looking at his pentacle. He's staring down at his pentacle. So I feel like this person, this love interest is very confused. And then with the justice in reverse, some type of unfairness, you feel like the one, the, someone feels like the other partner's not being fair. And someone is, there's some undecisive, there's some delay. Someone feels like someone is postponing something or they're, they're, they're purposely delaying communicating what they want. What they, it's like someone doesn't know if they want this offer. They're looking at the pinnacle, they're looking at the cup, and it's just like they're sitting here like, well, Okay, I see your pentacle, I see your cup. So it's like they're not appreciating it or maybe they don't feel like it's enough. And I feel like the nine of wands is you, Gemini. I feel like you're doing, you're struggling here, trying to give this person everything. And I feel like this person is just taking it for granted. Yeah, look. You're giving your partner this offer and your partner's not looking at it. They, they're looking at these other three cups down here. Your partner's not, the love interest is not interested. Or that could be you, Gemini. Oh, these cards are just flying out, y'all. Yeah. Um, 
I feel like maybe your partner doesn't feel like they offer stable enough because they it's this king, king of pentacles is very stable. Stability. But I feel like your partner's not not it's like you're making all these offers to this partner and they're just like oh okay and I kind of feel like the Knight of Cups is them wanting to make an offer to somebody else and somebody or they're waiting on another offer this could just be them and all their other their different offers now that I'm thinking about it this is your partner these are all the offers coming to them and they're they're looking at all these offers like damn which one do I want a knight gave him a cup, a page gave him a pentacle, and another page gave him another cup. So they got all these different options here. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is your offer, and they're not paying attention to it. And this is why you feel like this. This is why you looking like this. Like, damn, I'm working hard giving you these offers, and you don't even want none of these offers. And now you looking stupid and dumb. And that's putting you in the two of swords energy. And you're trying to manifest this relationship. But there's some type of domestic disputes here. There's some type of arguments or disagreements or misunderstandings. And so, man, this is because there's a fear. There's some type of fear or um, some insecurity. And you feel like you're being treated unfairly, Gemini. Or this could be your partner. Remember, the energies are interchangeable. Okay, we have the high priestess. Um, this is talking about balance. This is talking about intuition. Someone maybe needing to trust their intuition. Maybe your partner, your love interest needs to trust their intuition and, and pick out what the best offer is. Maybe this is why this is here. They want the best for themselves. So that's why they have these options and they don't know which one to choose. This is why we have the eight of swords. They're feeling trapped. They're feeling like they can't make a decision. That could be why that is there. I see a lot of confusion here. All right. Yeah, see? Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like you... There's a lack of harmony here. You kind of feel this is getting... This got you really sad in here. There we got the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, your love interest is wanting... It's like this is this represents hard work for me when I see it. Um, working hard, putting effort. I feel I look at it as hard work for this particular reading, and I just kind of feel like they're making you work really hard. They're making you work really hard, and you are putting an effort in. The sudden reverse. You're not optimistic about this. Ooh. Okay, so, and you're going to be laying down the um, burdens of this. You feel like it's too much. They're making you work really hard, but you're not, you don't have any faith in this. You're working hard, but this person's not giving you any answers. So the sun and the nine of, um, the ten of wands, rather, ten of wands came up. And, um, yeah, it looks like you're going to be putting this burden down. I feel like. We no longer want to put work in this. Let me see if I can get one more outcome card here. Um, so we have the Temperance and the King of Swords in reverse. And we have the Knight of Wands and the Chariot. Um... So the temperance in the king of swords is talking about um, patience. Someone losing their patience. The king of swords losing his patience and he's ready to cut somebody off. And this talks about um, knight of wands is someone impulsive, impatient. And I feel like someone is being impatient 
and the other person is being patient or needing to be patient. But this, these all are talking about being impatient, to be honest with you. This talks about being impatient, impulsive. This is talking about you need patience, but paired with the King of Swords in reverse, I feel like this person is controlling in the reverse. And I feel like he's being, he's not being patient here. He's not, there's a lack of patience here. And this is going to cause somebody to lose control of their anger. Because this is talking about somebody losing control. This is going to cause somebody to make an impulsive decision. And I believe the impulsive decision is to let this relationship go or put down this burden. Okay? That's your reading, Gemini.